first pick that I actually selected the lower seed, so we'll see. Oh, it's Girls Eye and Flipper 55, and with Fat Figure Gaming, and welcome to Fat Figure Gaming's absurd 32 team college football playoff for the 2015 season. Today, first round action, it is going to be the number 21 Texas A&M versus number 14 Baylor. Baylor 10 and 2 on the season, Texas A&M 9 and 3 on the season. We have seen both these teams a lot. Baylor all offense, Texas A&M all offense. All right, so for our YouTube audience, this is a Twitch live stream. We do these things Monday, Wednesdays, 8.45 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, all this month we'll be doing the 32-team playoff. This is our first round action, Texas A&M in Baylor. The only thing we've done so far is the first round of our West region. It's the first game of our whatever the hell region. South region. The Georgia region. To everybody else, so far, our community, after four games, we have two perfect brackets. They belong to the Earthshaker. Or shake the ground, as he likes to refer to himself on Twitch. I just like Earthshaker because I'm a 40k fan, and I absolutely think that is the greatest name for a artillery shell known to man. And it is Diamonds. Carson picks up about four yards with a catch. Try. I don't. I didn't check who they picked here. I could check real quick. See if we continue the continue going on. I think in the south, Lunatic picked like all the lower seeds. He's got, I know he's got a Y um, and Penn State. Believe it or not, here in the south region, not one game in the south, not one game out here uh, was a unanimous decision. Ball on the 39-yard line. In the West, we all picked Ohio State and we all picked Oregon. We all were right. Makes the catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Hip hip hooray. We're gonna dance and sing all day. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. He's at the 30. Gets and I'm looking. So they do differ in the oh they do differ in this game, they differ in the Arizona Navy game. So Diamonds has Baylor, Earthshaker has Texas A&M. So we'll have one. We'll, see, we'll be down to one perfect tournament. And there it is. Ricky Seals Jones. Gotta love the man. So we'll still have one perfect bracket after this game is done. But no more than one perfect gra bracket. Did I say graphic? I'm, I might have. Interesting two bad two teams here. Both teams relied on offense. Uh, Texas A&M in that difficult SEC West did manage a nine and three season. Oh, fumble! And a pretty good team. Texas A&M on the other, or Baylor on the other hand, well, they had the Big Twelve in their hands. And then they piddled it away with upset losses. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. They piddled it away with upset losses, Oklahoma State, and then TCU. Now, did they, they didn't lose. To, yeah, they did. They lost. I can't remember anymore. It was a 13 play, Baylor beat Oklahoma. Drive. Oklahoma a beat TCU. Amazing drive of this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do Who all the Baylor lose to? Oh, Baylor lost to West Virginia and Oklahoma State. That's what happened. That's what happened. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And yes. He's to the 40. Wake is on here, and sometime we'll get to vote what the next game is. So if you want Arizona Navy, we can definitely do that. That will be 
Our games tonight that you can choose from are going to be um, one versus eight seed is uh, Georgia Hawaii. The three six is Navy Arizona, and the two seven is Penn State Miami. And as I said before, there were no unanimous selections in this region, so it's not like it's not like I, I will say like one game we just shouldn't do. Because anytime we do a unanimous decision, we might as well, if we have to have a choice, which we will over the next three nights tournament. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think here. Yeah, definitely not do that one, but that's okay. Tackle made at the 26 yard line. Wake claiming that Wake Forest will be the men's national champion in soccer. I have no idea about any of collegiate soccer besides, of course, the fact that at one time women's soccer was fairly owned by UNC, but that was a long time ago. I don't know if they still are. They could still be. I don't really pay too much attention to collegiate soccer. My thoughts are, if they were good enough, they would be already getting paid. But, you know, that's just me. That actually goes the same way with collegiate baseball. Yeah, I know. It sounds like it sounds a little dickish, but you know. And he hits the PAT. So an eight play Wake is actually number drive, two. And it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the hmm. offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play call on that drive. Maybe Wake can add to the running totals the of national championships. The He'll return it from the three. He makes it out to maybe the Which I have no idea how many they have, Last if any. As good a as you can we'll count even crossing, co cro crossing country. <laughs> Cross country. Crossing country. Yeah, there you go. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really Ricky big. Seals Jones, baby. Very curious if he's going to jump to the NFL after this year. This would be the digital world. Obviously, in the real world, he hasn't really done that much to jump to the NFL. But man, he's been tearing it up in this digital world. Out of bounds around the 45-yard line. Be interesting to see how actually how actually the, the um, SEC West does shake up. Uh, I did see the projections. Right. Got it. Cryptic is here. A resident Virginia Tech fan. And Wake is going for. They think they have three national champions championships. And Sweet. Add one more to that, and it's four national championships. That is four more than Campbell College. Maybe. Hell, they, were, they might have won a national championship. I have no idea. It's a possibility. Still losing to App State, though. I love, I love that year. They, they beat Michigan. They're, and people claim them the best team in North Carolina, which actually was true, unfortunately, for that year. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked out. That was a heads up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball. Hokies will be next week against Alabama, so it'll be interesting. We already saw the fact that the Hokies can beat Alabama in our preview bowl. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. And we are not being disappointed here with this track meet. Whoa! We're going to clarify that. Wake looked it up. They have eight national championships. 
The Demon Deacons. Eight national championships. And he adds the extra point. That is one small school. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. But and it sails as with Miami, you can see well, small schools can look very, very down. big in the national eyes. I do real. I'm pretty sure that Wake Forest enrollment is smaller than Miami, but Miami is still a very small. Is still a small school compared to. He makes his um, about the 42. Compared to the guys that they they are trying to go up against. And I really, really want to know who is going to take that Miami job. Because once again, I've basically said that, that Miami job, whoever takes it, should realize that they are just cashing a check and their career as a head coach will be over. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 34. <laughs> Cryptic. Hokies are going to clutch these last four games to keep the 22 bowl streak alive. It's second down and 11 to go. I have no idea who all they're playing. I know they got to play Virginia, which is doesn't look like a win. Now he tries to buy some time. He takes off. To slide. Who else do they have to play? Let's just go through these games here for um, our cryptic and see just how clutch they're going to have to be. Nope. There we go. Cryptic already brought it up, but I'm going to, in order, at Boston College. Boston College is a pain in the ass. That might be a loss. At Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech's a pain in the ass. That might be a loss. <laughs> at home against North Carolina. At Virginia. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude, if Virginia Tech actually does win those four games, um, they deserve a bowl. Holy crap. I mean, theoretically, they just have to win three out of four. I mean, there is like 82 freaking bowl games, so. So you can tank the the GT or the UNC game. My kind of game. I love to see the offenses going up and down the field like this. Let's find out of the defense. Yeah, it is so sad how bad of a job Miami is. I, 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 you guys have heard me say it before. To me, I don't know if they can stop the passing attack. College football is more fun when Miami is the big bad swaggy dude. Because I hate Miami. They are my favorite team to hate. Now, Miami Hurricanes and the Miami Dolphins. I'll throw that in there, too. They are definitely my favorite teams to hate. Now, in the NFL, I don't care if Miami is a winner or not. That, that It doesn't interest me anymore to beat up on Miami, whether they are 16-0 or 0-16. But definitely in college, I, I feel like college, they need that worldwide wrestling dude, bad guy to come out and the freaking fire extinguishers, spout off bad things, act like a general idiot with all the swag in the world. Miami is that, dude, is that wrestling bad guy. And wrestling is just it, 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 that, that's the thing that got, that wrestling is just not fun when there's not that bad guy in there he's out of bounds at the 
42. Three yards there on the play. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. Oh, cryptic. So at the end of one, 14 apiece. Have you learned nothing from the Hokies? There's not, there's, there is no win. There is no definite win anywhere on their schedule. I'm not kidding you, not even BC. Speaking of the ACC, Pitt UNC ought to be a fun game tomorrow, tomorrow night. Not only that, but then you you also have um, West Virginia and TCU, which should be a fun game as well. I think there will be fun games on Thursday. We got Miami and, and New England on uh, on the NFL, so there's going to be three fun little games to check into. Now, a couple of those could turn nasty real quick. That's about the only problem with that, that schedule. Is I, I do believe... Actually, what I do believe is I need to check first. Who's home? And the Pitt UNC. I think UNC's home. No, it's Pitt. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Oh, it's Arizona Oregon, Arizona State's actually. Huh. It's too bad that Oregon has crapped the bed. Both of them have crapped the bed. Anyways. So they all can turn nasty. I'm gonna tell you right now, it, UNC could very well get blown out by Pitt. Just like TCU could blow out West Virginia. And New England can blow up Miami. However, I'm really hoping those three games will just be a whole real lot of fun. And people will be dying to keep switching, switching it back from every game. And if I had three TVs set up, watch all three games simultaneously, I mean, I can watch. And I think about it. I could borrow my son's um, tablet and I could watch all three games at the same time. Might have to do that, actually. And then, of course, you know, you start taking away displays if things get um, get nasty. I like Thursday's games. And then, of course, we have the greatest game known to man coming up on Saturday. The Temple Owls versus Notre Dame. He's got room, and he I love the it. Cannot wait to watch Temple versus Notre Dame. Really can't. I will be... I will be sitting there. I will find something maroon to wear. And he hauls it in. He's taken down. I will be eating my pudding pop and stroking my stuffed owl. Okay, it's really just a toy, toy headwick, but you know, it still works. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down at the 37. That's a game of seven. And I will watch Second the Temple down. Owls need about three defeat the, the mighty down. Notre Dame Fighting Irish. I will watch Temple go on the for to the American team. Championship undefeated. I will watch them go into the playoffs in the toughest Temple. Screeching owls. Yeah, Ricky Seals Jones. Five receptions, 57 yards. We aren't even halfway through the second quarter. You can't cover Kyle Allen. Holy crap. Kyle Allen, 24 for 25, almost 200 yards. This is my. This was my um, champion, by the way. Completely went out of my head until just now. So obviously my brackets will mysteriously change if Texas A&M loses this game. Oh crap! Here's the eleventh play of the drive. So so far silence from U-boat. He jumps in there with the no. Of course he didn't do the long, you know, 
Darth Vader know? And I'm wondering, know what? So unless he's typing his um, doctorate dissertation, which is a possibility. Texas A&M, kick this one off. And we can proofread that stuff. Anybody going for the doctorate? Just share it in Twitch chat. We'll, proof, we'll proofread your uh, your little dissertation. Show you your holes in your thesis in, in your theories. I hope NC State wins this weekend. Yeah, you and me both. But you know what? We get crushed in these games. We get absolutely crushed. And here's the deal. Because of how badly I've been blinded to any kind of talent, I guess, Clemson does have. I am no longer, I'm no longer assessing Clemson in any way. I won't say who wins, who loses. I won't even talk about their point spread. I must just remove Clemson from any discussion of college football from here on out because it's obvious that I know nothing about them. By now, I'd already thought they'd had three losses. But you know, it does happen. Oh, you both with my doctor paper might use too many big words for chat. Come on now. Everybody in my chat has over 120 IQ, all right? We are geniuses. You wouldn't be part of this Twitch night unless you were a genius. If you're not a genius, you get you automatically are not allowed to connect to this chat. I made sure to write that little subroutine in. Cryptic with the... Some people have been... Uh, not some people. Wait, talked about Beamer needing to go, which... Yeah, whatever. He can go when he wants to go. Uh, Cryptic responds with Frank Beamer's situation. Beamer said that Virginia Tech needs to do what's best for Virginia Tech. If that's not a defeatist attitude, I don't know what the hell is. It's sort of like a girlfriend telling you, well, if you want to break up, you can break up. No, 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 no. If you think the relationship is over, buck up, resign, walk the hell out. Spurrier decided to do it, you know, in the middle of the season. Ah, oh, the Earth Shaker is here. <laughs> Wake, I don't like bit words. Why is I was, <laughs> why I was a business major? There you go. Earth Shaker, you do realize that you are one of two people left with a perfect bracket. If Texas A&M does win, you will be the last one standing for the perfect bracket. Unfortunately, once again, I cannot get a hold of Barry Madoff. I've been trying and trying to, so he can back my perfect, perfect game million. Looks like it probably is safe, though, because we'll only have one person left after five games, but still trying to get that backing. I don't know why Madoff is still not returning my phone calls. And we have tied this ball game up 21-21. Beautiful track meet. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you gotta keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. <laughs> Wake, Beamer needs to retire and live in a cabin in the Appalachian Mountains. He makes the PAT. Yes. He's deserved it. The problem with it, the problem. From his own goal line. The, you know, the problem with, with sports guys is just the fact that you want, you always want that last taste of awesomeness. And it's hard to get that last taste of awesomeness. Not too many people can ride off the sunset with victory in hand. Um, I don't know if Beamer is the problem. And everybody loves to point at the old ass coach as the problem. But then again, you know, it's not. That's not always the problem. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line. Singleton makes the tackle. 
And you got to remember, before Beamer took the helm, Virginia Tech and, and East Carolina were, were on the same level. Now, the thing is, the, the head coach, oh, nice catch. That is Ricky Seals Jones, baby. Look at that, 68-yard TD reception. That's my boy. Of course, Kyle Allen, 29 for 30, almost 300 yards, and we're not at, we're not done here yet. Um, what the hell was I saying? Oh, of course, the, the, up, the uptick in Virginia Tech was they actually joined a conference that got big publicity. Even though it was the Big East in football, there was still enough publicity to help jack them, and they started their huge incline where East Carolina, both East Carolina and Virginia Tech were on the uptick, and Virginia Tech made that move. And it just it helped them even more after that. Um, and now they're on their down tick. Life versus death. LSU versus Bama. Who you got? Oh, by the way, Earth Shaker, I did see the I'm a boss. I love it. You keep touting your boss, man. You you are you have a perfect you have a perfect bracket right now. There are five wide receivers split out. Texas A&M wins. You are the last perfect man standing. You are the boss finger. So we'll get back to the light versus death. Ellis, who do you got? It here's the deal. If it was, if it was an even game, nothing but talent decided it. I would have to side with LSU, sort of. It's close. However, Les Miles is the coach. I, I still, I've got Bama. I've got Bama. I was listening to um, somebody say that the um, the matchup goes in LSU's favor. That intrigued me a little bit because I, I'm not quite sure. How you can actually say the matchup goes in LSU's favor when both the teams do the same exact damn stuff. Both teams are coached to do the same exact stuff. Both teams are recruited to do the same exact stuff. Fournette is a beast, without a doubt. Alabama's got two running backs of their own that could actually that can go into beast mode. That can go into beast mode. Unfortunately, we have rarely seen that this year. I think they're, they're two of the same damn teams. And do you honestly trust anybody at quarterback on either one of those teams? The only thing that you trust on both those teams are the f dudes who put their hands in the dirt. And then the running backs. So I'm going from Bama. They're in Tuscaloosa, and of course LSU has less miles. So I'm I'm, I'm going to assume it's going to be Bama, and they should be. They're not playing this week, right? No, they're not playing this week. No, look, I don't think they're playing this week. Unless I missed it. Don't they play in a couple weeks? I'm sure both defensive coordinators will be going back to the drawing board. I might have missed it. I got my head buried in Texas stuff. Texas A&M's lead is a touchdown. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Excellent kick. Of course, I'm looking for it, and I can't even find. I can't find LSU or Alabama. Are they both on buys before the game? Is that what's going on? I think so. Sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And they make the stop oh, they play November 8th. Okay, yeah, okay. Earth Shaker. Ah, uh, four shots. I hate shots. Gets it. He's in space. And a quick throw. And he hits him hard at the 46 yard line. That makes it second and six. I hate doctors when they estimate. I was estimated to get to 6 3. It irritates the hell out of me. Had I actually made it to six, well, actually, you know what, dude? Had I made it to six three, I'd have had a different life. 
and there is a possibility, a big possibility, probably a 98% chance that I would have made Ryan Leaf look like a choir boy. As is, I only got up to six foot. And that was the thing. When I, Warren Moon, I know, y'all, who knows Warren Moon, but Warren Moon actually uh, talked to me. And, um, you know, he made it a point to come over, share some share some of his time with me. And, and, you know, at one point he just looked at me and said, look, look, you've got the skills of a Division One quarterback, but a pocket passer. And no one wants a pocket. No one wants a pocket passer at six foot. Yes, I know what, Drew, what happened with Drew Brees, but what happened with Drew Brees is very um, is the exception, not the rules. So he told me to work on his speed and try to try to be a little more of a running quarterback. I think the best forty I ever clocked in was four six eight. So, no, not fast at all. But it happens. Georgia. Georgia, this is... um. Earthshaker, I'm assuming you're talking about um the digital world. In the digital world, Georgia is tonight. Uh, it's going to be up to you guys to vote in who you want to see. It's going to either be Georgia, Hawaii, Arizona, Navy, or Miami, Penn State. And in, in, during the fourth quarter, I'll tell you, you know, we'll, we get, we'll chime in. Oh, hold it. Earthshaker, are you the Georgia fan? I know Papa Thunder was, or is. I can't. I, I can't remember if we had two Georgia fans on here or not. I know we had two Auburn fans. Got too many SEC people in here. This whole thing off. ACC was coming out the yin yang. Now all of a sudden, you jackholes from the SEC moved in. We want the ACC where our teams on the field actually look like student athletes. Not really student athletes, but they look like they're playing like student athletes. So like we're almost we're just a step ahead of like Ivy League. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Texas A&M up 7 points. Texas A&M looking to add to that lead. Big throw. Oh, baby, God, that is wild. Speedy. Speedy Gonzalez. Riba, Riba. There was a point where they're actually trying to remake and do Speedy Gonzalez. I don't know if they actually did it or not. Watch the throw outside. But it was extremely funny because they, when they were talking about redoing Speedy Gonzalez, they said they were going to do it without stereotypes and without getting the Hispanic community mad at them. And I sat there and thought, then you're taking everything away from Speedy Gonzalez, and he basically is just a freaking mouse. Why even do Speedy Gonzalez? Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Throws complete, he's got room to work. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 19 yard line. That'll bring up second and two. They come out of an empty backfield. He's taken down at the 11. Come on, Aggies. Put this bad boy in there. Is that Ricky? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. 
<laughs> Kyle Allen, 35 for 37, 367 yards. Holy crap. the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he hits the PAT. So this is my national point, champion. Yard drive, and they put up seven points. You know, you hey! Ball, so these guys can. You don't necessarily always Mr. Green. Mr. Green is in the house. You're so proficient to throw the ball. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Texas A&M's game plan is to put the ball in the air. And you've got to have somebody to catch it on the other end. They've got a good one. Yeah, and this defense knew coming into this game that this is the difference maker, that they had to be able to slow down. And so far, they've not been able to come up with the answers on how to slow him down and take him away from the offense. Mr. Green, I did not catch your – I don't know why I did not catch your – um. Your follow Monday night. I do appreciate the follow. I also appreciate the – the activity in the Twitch chat. It's okay to be a people watcher. That's fine, too. But I always enjoy the live Twitch chat. As long as you're not doing a hashtag slider gate, Titan. We're poking fun at me, Wake. Hurts my feelings. Oh, okay. I had no idea what the but this hell. Is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. Earth Shaker just busted out with a random statement of the day. Texas is going to win. <laughs> what? <laughs> Apparently he's playing MLB. And Texas is dominating the, um, if you let this quarterback set the natties. He'll kill you all game. The natty lights. Excellent pressure on that play. It's okay to bump style with random statement. In fact, actually, I encourage people during the day just to bust out with a random statement at least once a day. Preferably around other people. I mean, you can do it by yourself. That's fine. I do it by myself all the time. It has more impact when you do it around other people. He's at the 20. Makes it out to about the 10. Yeah, they're trying to catch up. They cannot catch up. This is my national champion pick. Get him! I guess Shock Linwood got hurt. They're actually down to their third string. Devin Shafon. Good throw. Got to settle for a field goal. You're going to need to settle. In fact, actually, just Here's kick it now. Just kick it drive. now. You know you're not going to get in. You'll probably force a turnover. Just kick it now. Chiffon. Oh, no, 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 no. Just outside the goal line. Woohoo! They're going to go for the easy three here. <laughs> Wake with a great statement. <laughs> no commentary on the GOP debates tonight. No, 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 no. I'll get back to that in a second, by the way. <laughs> Yubo, when is the host of this channel going to, re going to be replaced? His voice isn't right for this kind of job. Ah. <sighs> Bring back Keith Jackson, damn straight. I tell you what, if I could get Keith Jackson on here for you, I would step down with just. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers. I have no idea. Fervin, something, somewhere or another. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second. Second and ten. Ball on the forty. <laughs> what kind of voice do you guys need? Huh? What kind of voice do you need? Unfortunately, my kids are, are upstairs and asleep. I don't know what voice I can do without without waking up the house right now. I could do a definite WWE without a doubt. Um, that would definitely wake up the house. I can do voices for you guys. I mean, I can. I can't do Keith Jackson, though. Definitely cannot do Keith Jackson. Hashtag step down, hashtag slider gate. Thank you, you vote. He splits the uprights with the extra point. 
Oh. Texas A&M. What was I looking up? I was looking up something. Oh, that's what I was looking up. got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchdown. Oh, can I run a commentator somewhere? Y'all killing me. Y'all killing me. Some sense of urgency I mean, I don't have the right voice. Now. Am I supposed to be sultry? Huh? Get, oh, speaking of... Man. I wish you guys would have known this dude. We had a dude who sounded like... Very... The dude sounded like he looked. The dude was like five foot nothing, a hundred nothing pounds. A uh, little bit of a... I don't know. I don't want to say squeaky mouse type of voice. I don't really want to go there. Uh, I love the kid. The best thing about this dude, he could change his his voice. And he's level at the 43. And we would we would just sit there as he would be like he would do that that perfect um, National Geographic deep type of narrator voice. You know, the elephants walking along the prairie sort of deal. And we would just sit there and roll. It was amazing. It was amazing to watch his voice change like that. It was just, it was amazing. Love the dude. Absolutely love the dude. That dude, if you guys hear me talk about it, that dude was uh, Buttram. Um, his voice was named, was basically Buttram, but Ram, but you know. Nice run up the middle. And Mr. Green, Michigan did not make the 32 team tournament. He stopped immediately. Uh, here, I, I am posting the brackets, and since it's a 30 second delay, I posted them like 30 seconds ago. From the 24 yard line, it's second down. Did you get WWE to 2K16 and do a huge tournament for that? That'd actually be pretty funny. He's tackled at the 12 yard line. That is actually pretty funny. The biggest, I, actually, the biggest, I'm telling you right now, there, there is, if I ever, bastards. This is just a track meet. Hopefully, Texas A&M wins. If there's ever a chance that my wife were ta to take the kids to her parents Baylor, ready to kick this for a off. weekend I will without a doubt do a special stream and so you guys could hear From just how completely line. idiotic and nuts I can get because obviously I have to tone it down a little bit I can't be screaming I can't be yelling I can't act like a complete well I can still act like a complete doofus but there's there's not that pizzazz that I bring to doofosity I mean, to see me in full action is to watch a real work of idiotic art. Hashtag whipped. That's nice. No, hashtag. All right, I am whipped. I ain't going to argue that. But I seriously do not want to face... What wakes up? The boy will wake up. Like the little girl, I get, the little girl I can get get back to bed. The boy I can't get back to bed, and the red-faced wife. Um, Lord knows I'd be sleeping on the I'd be sleeping on the floor. In fact, actually, she'd come down at night to make sure that I was still on the floor. She wouldn't even let me sleep on the couch. That's a great tackle at the 42-yard line. Yeah, that's not funny. That's not funny. Earthshaker, Earthshaker, remind me. Remember the story you told us about the little boy saying he was going to make babies with your daughter? Yeah, that's not funny. Packed in the trunk and taken to Mexico. Simple as that. That is where that boy is going to be living from here on out. And that little gringo is... Um, I only going to last for too long down there. Bastard. Actually, I could drive him even further down to Nicaragua and Honduras. They don't really won't last that long. Nah, I could probably drop him off. You know, I could. I don't even need to cross that border. There are good enough places in Mexico. 
I mean, I'm sure Tijuana would know exactly what to do to, to a... Um... Anyways. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The Bears Get me all fired up about this crap. That offense rolling it all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the need to get my gun collection. To see from them as far as Actually, I don't really need a gun collection. Really, all I want to do is just have a sniper rifle on the wall with some thing that looks like a damn um, metal of a combination on a plaque underneath it. That's it. In fact, probably I could dig out one of my old medals from, from the Navy and put it up there. Doesn't matter what the hell it is. Some kind of Navy Achievement Award. Dude will never even look it up. He will just see the medal hanging down from a plaque underneath a sniper rifle, and that's all the dude would have to know. Won't even look it up. Hey! Thank you for the spam. He's at the 40. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. I've only seen Mexico from the air. That's from Wake. I've been across the border to Tijuana, but that's about it. Hey, Tijuana is just south of San Diego. So, I mean, this young man didn't even have a chance to make something. Not really, Mexico. I've known people from Central America. I've known places that are a lot different than um, in some of the places you might might have on the border or Mexico City, for that matter. Five wide. But seriously, Tijuana is just Tijuana is just San Diego South. That's it. It's not really Mexico. Got so excited to make this throw that I think he just put too much on the football. His receiver was open. He just misfired. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Fourth and eight. Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! No! Yes! Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change. I think Seth, Seth Rutschel broke his neck. Oh, too soon. I'm curious if he's going to come back to football. I mean, that, that is a scary injury to have. Of course, he's young. He probably doesn't realize how badly it is to be confined to a wheelchair and never be able to do a damn thing. You can't even piddle your putt if, you got a, if you're in a wheelchair with a broken neck. Or check it down or take off and run with it. Caught with room to work. And they make the stop at about the 49. Here's Texas A to move the ball. My national championship pick. <laughs> I guess that's it. Oh, look at Platinum. Platinum is here. He is close to been a while. I think it's been a while. In team history. They'll be sure to bring him up in the conversation about the most dominant defenders in school history. He's earned his spot here. Second and 15. Ball on the 44-yard line. He's at the 40. Wait, you missed the season. You're his... Oh, our Mexico themed day. Hold it. When is is October also Spanish Heritage Month? I mean, I know it's breast cancer, but or is that September? Yeah, but he showed really nice hands on that play. That makes it second and ten from the thirty-seven yard line. Second down. Goes it to the halfback on the screen. And down he goes at the 32. Wake wants to bring up the college baseball season starts tomorrow? This week. Yeah, and the sport is pretty much a joke now. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And he's tackled at about the 30. Yes, our national pastime. It has passed its time. Eventually, football will get there too. Oh, speaking of football and excitement and audiences and all that. The kick is away. So, he missed it. No you bastard. It to the right. So they come up empty Kickers have to have a short memory. Just go out and make the I cannot have my national champion pick go out in the first round. Damn you. 
Get up on your giddy up. So, the live stream of Jacksonville Buffalo. Oh. <laughs> and wake. <laughs> Not baseball, you dingus. Yes, he actually typed in basketball. <laughs> I was wondering why the hell baseball would start already. I'll just go with it. Whatever. It's been a long time since I've been called dingus, by the way. In fact, I don't even know if I've been called dingus, for the love of God. I thought we already had, um... I thought basketball already had its its midnight madness. I guess I was wrong. And he's immediately tackled. I mean, to me, that's when basketball starts. You give dudes playing basketball at night. But whatever. They probably already had their midnight madness. Quick pass. He's tackled in the open field. Duke will win the Alaskan shootout again. Actually, I don't even know who's in the Alaskan shootout. But yeah, I don't it, it, until until and he is drilled at the 25 yard line. It's not until really I really the only time I really get into it is right right there at conference tournament time. I will pay attention during uh, conference play uh, NC State. I will tune in every now and then to watch a conference game. But until tournament time, until conference tournament time, I I don't really Sit there and, and watch it. Yeah, I know Midnight Mad Madness is just practice, but does practice? We talking about practice? That's to me. That's sort of the official kickoff because it's like an event. It's a fun event. Midnight Madness. No, stop him! Three minutes left to go. This one, Baylor's going to make this thing look close. They better not win. This is my national championship pick. Stomp him. Stomp him. No, 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 no. Damn you, Johnny Jefferson. You third, fourth string running back. Go sit back down on the bench. Pick it off and go back the other way. I want two points. Right, more spam. Damn you! And just as uh, just as I'm trying to ban a user for spam, uh. Baylor to kick this one off. The actual play in college basketball is bad. He's to the 20. <laughs> Have you seen NBA basketball lately? With the exception of people like Golden State and San Antonio? But he's also just seems to be having fun out there. I think the entire offense, for that matter, the entire team seems to be responding to his infectious attitude. You vote what needs do I actually do what mods do I actually need? Can't really mod this as much as I, I modded it as much as I possibly could. I'd actually love I would love, 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 love to be able to break into this damn program and do what I need to do with this program. Be beautiful. I mean, I will take the fact that I can make 32 team playoffs. I can, I'll take the fact that I can screw around with a roster anytime I feel like it. I can put attributes over 99, topped out at 127. That's my boys. Just keep it moving. Let's try to chew this clock. Got it and brought down immediately. Oh my god, I'm having a wonderful night today. So, you vote was not talking about mods to the program. He was talking about mods to Twitch chat. And then he called me Dingus. <laughs> All right, Dingus 2 tonight. I do have one mod. I do have one mod.
He is actually watching the Royals game right now. Over the middle to his tailback. Good open field tackle. So the defense has had enough of And eventually if we get more people on here, I will start making some of you jack holes that like to call me dingus mods, but you know, we're only sitting at at most 10 to 11 viewers. I think I can handle you jackholes. All right, minute 55. Come on. Just punch this bad boy into the end zone. Let's get going. Trey Carson, get your butt in the end zone. We got to seal this crap. <laughs> All right, we have three dingus now. <laughs> Seriously, how many mods do you guys want me to have? One, one, one mod. We have like, at most, we have 10 people. So, 1 to 10. I mean, that's a great mod to um, viewer re uh, relationship ratio. There we go. This guy's put in, man. Dingus is the bit to zap your computer. I take now Wake's really being get, getting nasty. That's what I'm talking about. Now Wake's really getting nasty. I take that back. I hope Clubs it goes to the playoffs so Wake gets a piece of that sweet, sweet playoff money. Yeah, that's a beautiful way of making it. Just everybody mod. Just everybody just mod, 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 mod. Everybody do the mod dance. You show up, you follow mod. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. This offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution. Like Oprah. There you go. Yep. Just like Oprah. You get him on. You get him on. You get him on. Makes you feel pretty good as a play You all are invited to my book club, by the way. My book club meets every Sunday at 11.30. I hope you all are going to be there. They come out in a five-wide set. That's a great tackle at the 44. That was more than enough to pick up. Yes, wait, trying the whole, trying to tank. The tank for the good, good of ACC. If NC State loses to Clemson, it'll help them and the better in the long run because of that, that sweet playoff money. And you know what, dude? When NC State gets absolutely blown out, that's exactly what I'm going to say. NC State wanted to help the ACC. That's the reason why they lost. You mod, we can develop a mod heresy. Hierarchy. <laughs> heresy. <laughs> uh, I know he said hierarchy. I like it better. I like the mod. Yes, let's develop a mod heresy. Let's do that. The mod heresy. In the year 2015. You booked 47, developed the mod heresy, designed to overthrow hosts of Twitch channels. The bloody conflict that ensued left Flipper 55 mortally wounded. But in his last dying effort, he was able to push back the mod heresy of 2015 in 2021 and all remained as it once was with flipper immortalized by a plaque right next to tim tebow's i have a dream speech and for allen his great performance urged him our player of the game <laughs> All right, we got Earth Shaker looking for Blue's Clues. Awesome. I like Pete the Cat. Pete the Cat. Pete the Cat in his cool shoes. Actually, right now, I'm, I'm 
reading with my little girl, um, The Magic Tree House. Too fun. And of course I get with you boat. Heresy? You're in a book club you can't even read. I like heresy better though. Look, it's not the fact that I can't read. My eyes read what they want to read. A mod hierarchy just is not as much fun as a mod heresy. So, we have Earthshaker with the last perfect of perfection. I completely forgot to pull you guys during that fourth quarter. Or not really pull you guys because I don't set up a damn thing. Um, anyways, who do, you, who do you guys want to see next? It's going to be Georgia, Hawaii. Oh, actually, no, no, no. You know what? We've got a Georgia fan in here, so that trumps everything. I don't think we have a, Pitts, Pitt, a Penn State or Miami fan. I don't think we have a... Um, uh, we do have somebody who is pulling for the Navy, uh, but he's not really a fan. Oh, what the hell am I doing? Just get through these stats. Some people like to see the stats. I do look at my analytics. They really do love to, to jack to the end and see the score and the stats. It does happen. They don't want to listen to me and my voice that is not built for this line of work. I appreciate that. 509 yards, five touchdowns. Look, five incompletions, 50 for 55. Dude, I don't think I've ever seen, I, I don't think I've ever seen Robo quarterback in, um, in anything I've simulated. Holy crap. That is amazing. Three dudes over 100 passing, over 100 receiving yards. Three dudes over, ten, over double digit catching. Full. Get back to that mod heresy in a second, and I'll catch up on my Twitch chat. See how many people call me Dingus. 